Hey guys, in this video, I'll discuss about uh, Bank Nifty. Now you can see Bank Nifty in a small time frame, they are running in a downtrend. But according to the price action method, they are creating higher high and higher low right now. Here you can see that was previous our price action method, creating lower low and a lower high. So from this area, uh, here you can see they create lower high, and after that, they are failed to create lower low. So in that case, we have seen this is a higher low and again, they break this previous higher, uh, uh, lower high and create a new higher high. So after that, again, price pulls down and uh, this was, I just connected previous lower point and we have seen this is a supporting line are there. Now price again pulls up toward this, area, but fail to create new higher high here. So now you can see price just uh, trying to uh, push back again toward this supporting line now in which direction we can go for like buy or sell that is the most important thing so before i start and uh, let's check it uh, in a large time frame so daily first daily we have seen some candlestick pattern are there so we have seen this is uh, if you calculate three candlestick pattern here, three candle. So we have seen this is called morning start, right? Bearish candle, after that a uh, doji pattern, and after that a bullish candle. So when they are forming, this is a doji, oh sorry, uh, what call this one? Morning star candle, right? So let me draw another supporting line here. I wanna draw a supporting line here. So I drawn a supporting line here and then now you can see we have seen a range. This is called large range we have seen from this area up to this area. We have seen this is a range of this candle. So for the long term position, we must wait to break this level or here. If they break this resistance line, we will go for buy and if you break this area, we will start selling, right? somewhere target will be here now question is that that is uh, for the long term position so what's the short term position for intraday so now we have seen and after that we have seen this is a large bullish candle followed by a uh, small bearish candle next day so this is called if we calculate this candle stick pattern it is called inside bar or you can say harami pattern now you can see uh, price is running in this range so we have seen this is a large range from this area to this area from 27,655 to 28,971 uh, almost uh, 2,000 point range we have seen in this area oh sorry uh, 1,300 point range we have seen in this area now how we will trade in this area right so that is why we must uh, find out in a small time frame uh, zone. So now we have seen, uh, here we have seen yesterday, this was bullish candle followed by a bearish candle and they form a one black crow pattern, but uh, they fail to break this area. So, so almost a day, little more they broke this pattern. So after that price, uh, again push up right you can see here uh, the price failed to continue trend toward downside and price just uh, push up and uh, create a doji pattern now today you can see just price open a gap up and price a little more push up if remember if price close above in a four hour time frame then we will confirm that price will go up because after that we will find this uh, again morning star candlestick pattern in that case uh, now price is running right now but still we are not confirmed so uh, for intraday let me show you in a small time frame right in a large time frame price is still running in a downtrend according to the moving average crossover so now in a 15 minute time frame we have seen price creating higher high higher low higher high and higher low and right now the price is running like that but now you can see 
here price not able to break this previous higher point and price are giving a little more correction right now from this area now question is that can i go for short again in this area so definitely we can go for short in this area but we must place sl above this candle right so why you can see why i'm telling we can go for short again so you can see this is a small candle followed by a uh, smaller candle but uh, next you can see this is a large candle but when approach this supporting uh, sorry resistance line or 200 moving average and then now you can see it price just drop down and form a inverted hammer pattern and after that we have seen a uh, bearish candle in this area so if you want to enter here so you must place sl here because price trying to construct this trend line right if they break this level so we'll go for buy above this candle not now remember above this candle not now if they break this level this candle so we'll start buying above this area and if you want to enter for the short direction so you just place your sl in this area right and if you want to sort here you close your position in this area because we have seen there is a multiple uh, support our testing area and form a strong support and we are looking for again buy in this area some candlestick pattern in this region right so once they break so most of the people are start selling in this area but according to me i'm not interested to sell in this area because we never know market might reverse from again from this area so for a short again we are looking for to break this supporting line now we have seen this is our sell entry and the long term buy entry here and if you want to short here we must close our position in this area and again for further buy we must wait to break this candle not now right uh, i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching